section of the mirrors are cool first. Kind of, that's part of it. You like to ride behind people's really close. You're saying he's up your ass, you're up other people's. Uh, <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. Uh, no, no, sorry. He's testing you. Why didn't the car make the noise there? I've done the exact same thing. Because you. Oh, we're, 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 we're recording, by the way. Are we? <laughs> Everything's recorded right now. I don't care, whatever, man. Okay, cool. You ready? Yeah. All right, three. <sighs> one second. No, I've got to do my introduction. Three, two, one. Clearly, you haven't seen any of my videos. They come on my feed. I don't choose to go on them. <laughs> okay, okay. One second. Three, yeah. two, one. Go. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Naman. What's up, people? My name is Sam. <laughs> Do you want to put your phone away? Yeah, yeah, sorry. No, no, away, away. Oh. Thanks. That's all right. Okay, so I'm going to start again. Hi, guys. Welcome back to Clearview Driving. My name is Salmon, and today I'm doing a mock test with my brother. Sam, what's up, people then? So, this is a bit of an unusual one. So, you claim to be a great driver, and you've got all these... Uh, I believe so, yes, with 12 years plus experience, okay. yes, on the road, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, um, today's, okay, you've never seen any of the videos, but the mock test is all about trying to see if you were to do your driving test again, would you pass? Now, before we go into into this, how do you think you're going to do? I, I think I'm going to pass. Yeah? Yeah, with maybe two minors or something like that, but I think I'm going to pass. Okay. Confident, sorry. Okay, perfect. All right, so before we get into this, a quick question for you. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me how would you check that your head and tail lights are working? Uh, by putting on your headlights and then your tail lights. <laughs> and then... <laughs> no, sorry, sorry, scrap that. So headlights, you would put on your headlights from the okay. buttons, jump out and physically see yourself okay. that the headlights are working. The tail lights, you always need a third party. Well, you can second or third place. You can check it yourself, but it's still better for someone else to check it for you, okay. just in case. That's how we. He's it. trying to cover all ground there. Yeah, come on. Okay, all right. Um, by the way, before we started recording, he already said I'm going to make sure I review all the footage. You can't use anything without my permission. Nah, it's not. Um, this is the first time me being out here like this, so <laughs> I feel vulnerable. <laughs> Alright, okay, so um, I'm going to keep telling you where to go mm -hmm. and I'm not saying anything in terms of helping you on the drive. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with the area so there should be no trouble in terms of what's going on on the roads. Mm -hmm. Perfect? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Alright, all right, let's go. So when you're ready, let's start the engine please and let's make a left turn. Okay. Make sure the mirrors are cool first. Kind of, that's part of it. Signal, check the mirrors again. I'm not used to this handbrake. Allow me! I'm not used to this handbrake. Sorry. Uh, anyway, let's go. Oh, well, we missed our left turn. Uh, we're going to go to the end of the road to turn left. It's okay. So at the end of the road, turn left. Safe distance, though. Safe distance from the van in front. He's testing you. Always look at the left mirror before turning in case there's a cyclist trying to undercut you. We do live in London. Okay, at the end of the road, turn left. Left again, yeah? Yeah. Right. I think I messed up there because I should have been looking at the rear mirror before breaking, but hey. Patient, that person could be pulling out, well, and that person's to. turning right. Go on, I'm giving them way. 
that's illegal, no? It is. Then why are you doing it? What, him? What yeah, they're doing? yeah, that's well, illegal. Well, there's no possible way of... I don't even know where they came from, actually. No, but if your drive's on a corner of a junction, joining onto a main road, you should be reversing your car and not facing forward. I get that. Uh, I know what you're gonna say. I know, I know. Sorry, I'm driving like I'm driving. Just you know what I'm saying. I'm not feeling. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Traffic lights. Let's turn right. Okay. Indicate right to let the other road users know that you are changing lanes, approaching the lights. Now this car in front. I don't know if he's going straight on. Or he's turning right, so Where I'm gonna going? assume. No, I'm gonna assume he's turning right, and that's why I'm gonna remain, keep some distance, basically. See, I was right. Well, he wasn't indicating, so it's quite clear he's gonna be going ahead then. Listen, I've seen people so go 20 straight. Zone. Twenty zone. Sorry. <laughs> it's a twenty zone. Okay, cool, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> should I go? I should go in second gear then, no? No, you can keep it in 20 and third. It's up to you. Yeah, but. Okay. We're reviewing this footage together, by the way. <laughs> I'm there for your edits. I'm telling you now. From early. You can't edit this video without me. It's not happening. <laughs> Going straight on? Yeah. Why does the car make that noise? What is it? What was that? <laughs> huh? You were too close to the red car. Oh, okay. Oh, the sensors. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, cool. But I wasn't though, because he's already turned right by the time I approached the roundabout. He was like halfway on his turn. You you were speeding up because you could see he was going to make the turn and get out of your path. But yeah. the fact is, he wasn't quite out of your path. Yeah, but I wasn't exactly about to go into the back of him. I think the car thought otherwise. Yeah, well, you know, I'm driving the car, the car's not driving me. On that note... <laughs> I know you're going to say something silly now I'm about not. my driving. No, no, I'm not saying nothing. Don't worry, we're gonna do a test where I'm sitting in that seat too. Testing <laughs> you. I've been resting on the clutch a bit too much. I noticed that, so stand still, always put it in neutral. Foot on the brake, release clutch. When you're ready to move off. Checking all mirrors, yeah? Uh, yeah, <laughs> come on. The crossing's there in front of me. You don't know what crossing there. So we're turning left here. Why didn't the car make the noise there? I've done the exact same thing. Because you, <laughs> you were slower this time and the other car wasn't as, yeah. I think it's your senses. Okay, fine. Pelican crossing. Yeah, well done. Okay, at the roundabout, turn left. See, check my words because it's back behind me, delivery. Just trying to make sure someone's pizzas don't turn cold. Right on my ass. Glad to see you checking your mirrors. He's up your ass, you're up other people's. Yeah, but listen, that Mercedes that just pulled out from that junction, yes. he's not right in the head. Do you understand? He should what be off the roads. You can't jump in an Uber with someone that drives like that. That's crazy. Turn left. Turn left. Sorry, I should be a bit more patient. You're right. You're the instructor. <laughs> At 
just know you know how I passed my test. I bullied my way through it. <laughs> he didn't, guys. He's just he's just a talker. God, I feel like I have to justify everything. Okay, at the end of this road, let's turn right, please. Okay. No, I don't know what this person's doing, but it looks like a 20-point turn. This brings back to memory still. I used to work up the road. And that's all these chicken. Chicken. This is Dolly Road, right? Yeah. And that's a nice yellow car. Yeah, so that's the A45. Yeah. Alright, if you could pull in and park up on the left anywhere safe. On the yellow line, it's okay on this occasion, just no driveways. That's right there, thank you. Have to go. Don't exceed the speed limit. Okay. At all. Ready? Okay, ready for round two? Yes. You're going to take this seriously now? Yes. All right, when you're ready, let's start the engine. Now that looks suspicious. <laughs> Very. <laughs> People jumping from one car to another. Mm. Alright, at the end of this road, I'd like you to turn right, please. As an experienced driver, Sam does have a habit of using one hand on the steering wheel whilst the other hand is resting on the gear lever. Now for your driving test, I would strongly advise against this. If you get sweaty palms, it's really easy to lose control of the steering wheel as your hand will slip off. So for best practice, use both hands on the steering wheel. I'm taking it serious now, yeah? I can see that. Just no talking. Up. You want me to concentrate on concentrating? Mm, I'm glad. And at the end of this road turn right please. straight ahead from here. 
as we're starting this roundabout, we're in the middle lane. And as we enter the roundabout, Sam needed to position more towards the left. If there had been a vehicle on the right hand side, this would have given him a serious fault. But as he had been checking his mirrors towards the right and the right side was clear, this wasn't enough to be a minor fault. But always follow your lane correctly. And we're going to take the exit coming up here. Yeah. I'm doing better than before. <laughs> Miles better than before. Yeah. How do you feel you're doing now? Better. I just think I need to check the rear mirror more when I'm doing the braking. I think that's where I'm lacking. You're checking the sides like that one. Yeah. This one, barely. <laughs> Drive off when you're ready. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Hold on. Yeah. You have to lift it. Oh, it's the lift one, is it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'll buy you a new gearbox. I'm sure uh, Mercedes is pushed down in reverse, not a lift no, in reverse. It's like Audis. Sorry, I drive a Beamer, so I wouldn't know. How is it in your car? My car? Yeah. My car is literally just... Like a double push, isn't yeah, it? Double yeah, double push, yeah. It's not a um, lift up or push down. Now, when we get to this next roundabout, we're going to be taking the second exit towards Hayes. Yes. This roundabout surprises a lot of people. Why? Because they don't realise how to maneuver maneuver through it. Yeah. Because I mean, if they read the road markings, that tells you that's strictly M4, which means that's only for that lane going that way, and there's only one lane that goes across. True, but what if I said to you, like, I know you know the area, but what if you know you wanted to make a right turn to Sipson, which is that way? Huh? Say that again. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Or if I want to make a right turn to Simpson, yeah, then I'll be in that lane. But you just said to me it's the M4. Yeah, you can go to Simpson on the M4. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, actually, to be fair, you can go with those lights. No, you could go to Simpson. You don't have to go right there because the same way we came. I could take a right there yeah. at the lights and go back across. But my Simpson. point is, you'd have to start on the left, which would feel weird for making a right turn. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I understand, yeah. At the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, please. Second exit. I do. We'll talk about it in a second. Now I could make that gap, but I'm not going to. Well, then I think she waited for you. No. Thank you. At the traffic lights, turn left, please. No, 
if you're waiting at a light mm -hmm. and it's red, I don't have to indicate until lights turn amber, right? Just to indicate. I would, I would put my signal on, on the lead up. Okay. Because if you had like a cyclist come up behind you and mm -hmm. he doesn't know you're indicating and then suddenly when you get closer to the light, uh, when they get closer to the light, the light goes amber and now you're all of a sudden signaling. Right, okay. But cyclists had no idea that you were going to turn. Okay. But the same way, if the cyclist was going to turn left, he should remain on my left. Yeah, he should be on your left. But let's suppose that cyclist was turning left now coming forward, or the cyclist is trying to go straight. They'd still be on to your where? left. To where? Into the... On... You know what I mean. They could be going straight into the allotments. <laughs> That's illegal. <laughs> you can't go over the curb with the cycle from lights. That's crazy. I've seen people do it. Alright, so we're gonna go into Asda Car Park. Okay. He's definitely come through a red light, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, so bad. Okay, now at the roundabout, we're gonna turn right. It's quite a sharp turn. You've got to position yourself. Is that a better turn out around about? Mm-hmm. Park anywhere? Yeah, just keep going a bit further. After those vans, turn right. Okay. Alright, what I want you to do now is to reverse back into a space of your choice. Make sure you finish within the white lines of the bay. Anywhere along here would be nice. Reverse back yeah, into... Yeah, reverse into a space. From this position? Yes, please. You can do whatever you like in terms of starting position. Now what Sam does here to start his bay park reverse is actually allowed. You are allowed to steer towards the opposite direction and simply reverse back in a straight line. But he gets a serious fault for reversing observation as he does not check his blind spots. Always look all around over your shoulders before any sort of reversing to make sure the road is clear. Thank you, drive up and you're ready. I think that was very pro talking. If I must say myself. Turn left, and we're just going to exit the car park now. That would what we call a blind spot just there, pulling out of the car park. Because it's covered. The van's right there, yeah. behind that silver car. Don't worry about the drives on this one. That'll be okay there. Ooh, it's okay. All right, so shortly I'm gonna get you to carry out the emergency stop. <laughs> As you're driving down this road, I'm gonna make sure it's nice and safe. I'm gonna look around and give you this signal. Stop. As soon as you get that signal, I want you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible. We'll wait for my signal before you carry out the stop. So it's simply just a reaction test. I'm not trying to trip you up or anything. Okay, cool. I'm ready. All right, so All right. drive off whenever you're ready. Okay. Wait for this car to go past. When moving off from stationary, Sam has not checked his blind spot towards the road even once. So this would have now gone down as a habitual serious fault for not checking the right blind spot. So always check towards the road over your shoulder as this area is not covered in your exterior mirror. I'm just preparing myself. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay. 
Thank you. Travel when you're ready. I was ready to stop when you said this. <laughs> I'll stop on the left hand side, please. <laughs> That'll be fine there, thank you. You can secure the car. That's the end of your driving test. Hmm. Okay, so how do we uh, go into this? Do we think of the whole drive? The first half, the second half? Yeah, mention both. Okay, so, um... If this was your driving test, unfortunately, you would not have passed today. And there are a few reasons why. And I don't no. know if you're going to agree with me. Definitely the not. First and biggest reason is yeah. firstly, blind spots. You do not check them when you're about to move off from stationary and after you're, when you're reversing and after your emergency stop. Where are your blind spots, Aaron? Huh? Where are your blind spots? Wherever you cannot physically see yeah. around the car. Okay, so where would you say your blind spots are then? Well, the rear. Okay, but you can see it here, right? Yeah, but corners of the rear. Okay. Corners of the rear. Uh, this. Yeah. This bit here. That yeah, arch the bit pillars, there. Yeah. The pillars on both sides of the windscreen. Okay. Um, now, the, the blind spots that I'm talking about, it's these ones here. So this here. Over and that your shoulder. There, over your shoulders. Okay. Do you remember seeing me look around every time you're moving? I was, I was checking. Yes. Do you remember after the emergency stop, I was checking? Yes. Do you remember while you were doing your reverse thing, I was checking? Yes. You were cheeky with your reverse um, into the bay, but that was good. That's exactly how it can be done. But you simply needed to look over your shoulders. The control was nice. You know, right. you're parking. Okay, so I should be doing this. Yeah, just before reversing, just a little... little... But it's not, it's not okay for me to be continuously looking over my shoulder when I'm reversing because like, I need visibility of the front. Why do you need to look in front if you're because reversing? Because if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm reversing at an angle... Yeah, you're going to swing. Right. So you're going to look so, the other way. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if I'm swinging into a reversing, I'm doing this, I could hit someone Well, swinging. you need to know what's in front, right. generally, yes. Okay. But let's say, in terms of your attention, it was like... Here. Primary for the front. And the, okay. Yeah, it should have been the other way around. Okay. So blind spots were definitely key there understood um speed limit i'm not going to talk about the first half at all but in the second half <laughs> much better okay um you do like to tail drivers a little bit okay i know you thought that motorbike was tailing you but you were doing the exact same thing to the guy in front okay yeah two second rule yeah. <laughs> two second rule so we discussed this on the drive so yeah. what um um what, what did you think it was before that 1.5 meters <laughs> 1.5 meters which is about the distance we have with this red car. Well, what I meant was 2.5 <laughs> meters. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, steering generally you kept one hand on the wheel. Now, in terms of a driving test, I would be I would prefer it if you kept both hands on the wheel. Okay. But as long as you don't lose control of your steering at any point whilst doing that, that's not really a fault. So Did I, can't I lose fault control? You. No, that's what I mean. I can't okay. fault you on it. Okay. But for any learners out there watching this, you want to make sure you're trying to use both hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> Don't do what I did. Both hands on the steering wheel, because if your hand slips whilst doing what Simran was doing here, it will be an issue. So you got to make sure both hands, unless you need to change gears or doing something else. Roundabouts, nice. A little fast at times, but a nice. When you say fast? As elaborate. in like, you know when you're coming off the roundabouts? Yeah. Bit of a straight line in here and there. Oh, as in, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. In your lane. Right, like okay. the discipline. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, but was that indicating correctly? Though? Yeah, yeah, all of that was that. good, yeah. Okay. Cool. This left mirror was neg uh, neglected a little bit at first. Yeah. But you did start to check it thereafter. Yeah. The right side you were checking throughout. Yeah. Um, that one up there, again, you know what's behind. So mm -hmm. that was not really an issue for me. Okay. Um, I'm thinking, have I forgotten anything? You know when you came into this first, did you realise how it was going to be? Before we started today. No, because I'm driving like I would normally drive. But obviously I'm not trying to pay attention to the reality of that I'm being recorded. I'm just trying to focus on the road and pretend like as much as I can. So what have you learned from today's mock test then? What are you gonna take going forward? Uh two point two second two point <laughs> two second rule. Yeah. Um checking my left mirror more often. Yeah. Looking at my blind spots when reversing. Okay. Uh looking and at my blind spots generically through driving yeah um and also checking them when i'm pulling off yeah that's the main one because it was like so many times that we moved off and there was no blind spot checks mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I'm happy with that. You happy with that? Yeah. Is this what you expected from today's drive? Yes, I'll be back again, people. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Pattern up. Give me another week once my car's fixed. Yeah. And I'm back on the road yeah. again. That's why I'm rusty. There you go. <laughs> my car's broken. Wait, when did it break down? What, yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> Cause I've, I haven't I've been for sitting at home hours. for 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. I lost my little touch, but it's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll be back on the road. It's cool. It's all right, people. Okay, guys, that is the end of today's mock test. Hopefully you guys have found that to be useful. What not to do at first. Um, and as you can see, he has hopefully learned from these uh, have, mistakes, which I is have. good. Everyone's always learning. But yeah, I'm going to link all of Stan's socials down here. So be sure to check him out. Shout at me, shout at me. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Thank you guys for watching and Thank you, people, then.